Guys, in this video, we are going to look at the calibration of analog inputs and outputs within a DX9100. This is a, I guess you could say, a more advanced level of programming within the DXs that is uh, often used during uh, custom system installations. To give you a little bit of background on this particular system, we had recently replaced some pneumatic steam control valves with newer electronic valves. As part of the changes, we also had to update the calibration on the analog outputs for the DXs to be able to control these effectively. Prior to the uh, updating the calibration, the analog outputs would only swing from a voltage of 1.5 4 volts. The actuators that we installed as uh, part of the project required a 0 to 10 volt signal for each of those actuators. And that's one of the things where the calibration, uh, you know, comes into play. Uh, they were had a specific calibration range when the system was pneumatic, but that needed to be updated when we changed it to the electronics. If you turn over the DX9100 to the back side, this one has been removed from the base, you can see this white tag down toward the bottom underneath all of the jumpers. This is going to give you the values for the configuration that this particular DX was set up for from the factory. If these values are changed or modified in the programming, the outputs and the inputs may not act as you expect. Uh, this project is a perfect example of that. You can see that the tag is directly under all of the jumpers here on uh, the back of this DX. And as I stated earlier, there are sometimes purposes where you need to change these values for a specific reason but we needed to put them back to the standard values for this project. And the way that you will find the, uh, the values and where you will find that at to where you can edit it is inside the programming. Uh, here we are within the GX9100 software. I'm going to click on Edit, and then I'm going to scroll down to Calibration. Inside here is where those values can be edited. Uh, once again, if you change them from the values that are on the DX itself, your inputs and outputs will change in how they function. If you flip these values as far as the high and the low, your inputs and outputs can actually work backwards. Uh, that is something to take note of and in some cases may be necessary depending on the application. Uh, the calibrations are one way of setting up custom systems just like the pneumatic system that we replaced and once we have replaced it we did need to change it back to the, uh, the regular settings to where we would get the expected voltage Guys, zero to video 10 volts. helps you to better understand how you can calibrate the uh, analog outputs as well as the analog inputs on your DX9100s. Uh, once again, this is something that it's not common, it's not extremely common, but it does happen in some custom applications. Anyways, guys, hope you liked the video. I would appreciate it if you would give it a thumbs up. Be sure to subscribe and drop me any questions down below. Thanks for watching.